This video will explain how GPO Display's proprietary H-mounts for LCD video walls are installed. A single H-mount is shown here. We will use a 3x3 array in this video as an example. These mounts match the outline dimensions of their corresponding displays, making measuring, leveling, and installation fast and easy. You can even assemble smaller arrays of mounts on a flat, even floor before mounting them to the wall via lag screws. H mounts are joined by M8 bolts, which are included with the mounts. Again, this can be done before the mounts are hung on the wall, or it can be done as the mounts are affixed to the wall. For a 3x3 configuration, it's easiest to pre-assemble rows of three mounts and then stack them atop one another stopping to interconnect mounts with M8 bolts and to sink lag screws into the wall along the way. Be sure to insert interconnecting bolts in each position and apply uniform torque when tightening the nuts. If you over tighten and notice that metal in the mount structure starts to bend, back off just a little bit. Insert the Z-bolts fully into each corner of the mount. Insert Y-knobs only partially so that the end of the bolt barely appears above the Y-axis adjustment tab. The Z-bolt is used to push outward on each corner of a display, allowing for Z-axis adjustment. Y-knobs push upward on the left or right side of a display, allowing for Y-axis adjustments. Follow these steps on all mounts. Here's what an LCD video wall display looks like. It will have four buttons on the rear side. These buttons will insert into the corresponding circular openings called insertion points in the middle of the four I-shaped channels in each mount. Start with the bottom right display. Line up the left and right edges of the display with the edges of the mount and lift the display about an inch and a half above the mount, staying parallel with the mount. Ease the buttons into the insertion points. Let's take a look at the mount from the rear. The mounting channels consist of a lower install channel and an upper service channel where displays can be moved to create separation from and access to lower displays. The buttons fit into the insertion points and drop down to the install channel. From here, you will slide the display off to the right. Next, install the remaining displays in the row in the same manner, inserting cabling along the way. Center the displays once you have finished this row. Do the same on the remaining rows, carefully avoiding pressure on the displays below. Excessive impact or pressure on the top bezel of a display may cause permanent damage. Conduct any necessary alignment adjustments using the Z-bolts and Y-knobs. Finally, side covers must be applied to the left and right sides of each row. This will create a clean, finished look. More importantly, it will lock the display's alignment in permanently. Please consult the manual for more detailed, complete instructions. Feel free to reach out to GPO Display Support with any questions. Thank you.